Bold Intercession. I am uh, David, and he will be joining me shortly. Um, and get results. Um, a lot of I've been praying for 500 years, um, and I still don't have the results. Uh, this is a perfect time where you could have people of like mind who are praying with you, and trust me, wherever two or three will gather on earth, and touch a thing in heaven, it will be given on to them. That's what the Bible clearly says. Um, we will join you as much as you will join us. Um, our prayer is basically led by the Holy Spirit. We, in the Bible, it is written, um, it is written in the Bible that let my prayer be as the evening uh, sacrifice. And let the lifting of my hands be as the evening sacrifice and let my prayer be as a burning incense before you. So our prayers is like sacrifice to God. And this is the priestly calling that Jesus has laid down for us. Even Christ himself in Hebrews chapter 5 had to pray. And he, he had the, the spirit of intercession by the Holy Spirit concerning what he was going to go through on the cross. And he prayed this to the point that his body, his pores begins to break out blood and water. And um, happen bold intercession is not asking you to pray till your body uh, begins to bring blood and water, but we will join you with our faith and believe God for what He has said concerning the things that your heart desires. Once again, welcome. This is happen bold intercession prayer, prayer and intercession, uh, worship and intercession night. And God bless you as you uh, join us. Hello, yes, good evening everyone. Thank you all so much for joining us. I, my name is also Mary George, and we are just so delighted for you all to join us this evening. And for those that are also joining us on YouTube, thank you very much for joining us as well. And for those that will also watch the replay and also to share, also join us in worship. It's not a time of spectating, but it's a time of worship and prayer together. So. Please share it with others so we can all join in together and to give God the glory for he deserves all of the honor. Amen. Um, we want to acknowledge our, our, our Fresh Fire family. Fresh Fire family, Apostle Sandra and Apostle Todd who have uh, been our coach and spiritual, spiritual father, father and, 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 and mentor. And we would not say anything wrong because we know we get the fivefold ministry. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> As much as we've uh, been taught, we are here as ministers of mercy Amen. and grace, and, and as much as we have obtained mercy from the Lord, and we know that it is by the mercies of God that we are not consumed. So uh, we encourage you that you should uh, take it serious, take it seriously, and um, even as we would begin an opening prayer, um, just uh, open your heart and feel free. Um, it doesn't matter where you're at. Some people have been going to church for 10 years. And some of us is just, it's not even been to church for since we were born. Amen. You are the highest of the highest. You are the lowest of the lowest. Just enter into the presence of God. It's in the heart. It's not something we can see physically. It's inside of you. The kingdom of God is from within. Okay? And now the kingdom of God is here. And we are here to testify by the Holy Spirit and bear witness that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and he is the beginning of our faith and he is risen and he has taken away our sins, our infirmities and he has washed us white as snow that when we pray to God the Father in his name, he would grant us what we ask. So um, why don't you open in prayer? Amen. So, Father, we thank you. We honor you. Thank you, Lord. We glorify your name. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Jesus, for God, you are worthy Amen. of all the praise and honor and ador adoration. We just humble ourselves right now, Lord, and we come before you with our hearts opened up. And, Lord, we ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just have your way and let the rivers of living water just flow through today in the name of tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Lord, we ask, Lord, that we ask for more of you and less of us. Lord, more of you and less of us. For you, Lord God, we step back for you, Lord God, to move mightily among your people in and, in and through us, Lord. And Amen. as we open up our mouths, Lord, that you will just fill it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We Thank give you, you glory and we give you praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to begin today by uh, reading a, a scripture uh, that
That would be James chapter 2. I encourage you to get your Bible as well. We're going to read from James uh, James 2 from 15 to the end. And I'm just going to encourage you briefly before we go into prayer. And I encourage you to bring your prayer points. Uh, make, make them ready because we're going to be praying to God concerning some specific things that currently uh, 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 that that, uh, that we actually know it's, uh, it, it, it's part of what's going on in our lives. Amen. And as far as the Holy Spirit reveals what is going on in your life as well, just open yourself and open your mouth and pray. This scripture will actually share a light on, on what we're talking about right now. Amen. Amen. So, I'll be reading from James 2. Yeah, James 2. James 2 from verse 15. Yes, James 2 from verse 15. If a brother or sister, and I'm reading from the Amplified Version, if a brother or sister is poorly clad and lacks food for each day, and one of you says to him, goodbye, keep yourself warm and well fed without giving him the necessities for the body, what good does that do? So also faith, if it does not have works, deeds and actions of obedience to back it up, by itself is destitute of power, inoperative, dead. But someone will say to you then, you, say you, have faith, and I have good works. Now you show me your alleged faith apart from any good works, if you can, and I by good works of obedience will show you my faith. You believe that God is one, you do well. So do the demons believe and shudder in terror and horror such as make a man's hair stand on end and contract the surface of his skin. Amen. Thank God for that. I, I want you to pay attention to what he says. Um, he says, you show me your good work and then I'll show you my faith. Um, the work that we're talking about today is prayer. Amen. Some people believe in God, but they don't pray. And you, you're sick, you did not pray about it. Your child your children, you want some good results in their life. You did not pray, but you believe in God. And you see, it clearly says, even demons believe in God, but they don't pray because they don't need anything. Now, the good works is asking us. I know there's some contrast in Galatians chapter 3, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about work. The work that we are going to be doing today is worshiping and praying. It's a work. It's a good work. It is a good work to pray. Uh, so many people believe in God in their hearts. They say, oh, but God is not answering my prayer. But you never prayed about it. You never opened your mouth and prayed. This is the work. It's like, okay, you believe in your heart and you have, you have faith. That means I believe in my heart. But I have no work. The work that we're going to do to back that faith up is prayer. Amen. Amen. He's talking to God about it. Amen. Minister Janice, bless you, has says obedience over sacrifice. Amen. 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 Thank you for Amen. that. Thank you for that. Obedience. God clearly says, ask and you shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock upon the door. Be obedient to the word and talk to God. So and verse 20. Are you willing to be shown proof? You foolish, unproductive, spiritually deficient fellow that faith apart from good works is inactive and ineffective and worthless was not our forefather abraham shown to be justified made acceptable to god by his works when he brought to the altar as an offering his own so, son isaac amen so abraham was justified because he brought an offering to god Amen. And then we say, God says, worship, worship. So worship is an offering to God. Amen. Your faith would be would be justified with this with this work of worship. So we're here today to tell you that worship is very important. It Amen. is as as Mary just shared. It is how Abraham, our forefather, was justified by his works when he brought an offering by believing in God and then bringing worship to God. Mm -hmm. So, which, which, which is something that we're going to be doing. So I encourage you to, to, to do it with your whole of your heart. Ask God for whatever he want, you want him to do for you and he is going to do it. And then when we, when we start to sing and praise the name of the Lord, I encourage you as well to do it to your heart. In this we are justified by Amen. our faith, which by believing in our heart and now with the confessions of our mouth, with praising him, with adoring him, with lifting his name on high and confessing that he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Amen. 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 Apostle Sandra. Bless you, says, the work we are doing is worshiping and praying. Amen. Amen. Thank and Karen you, says, just because we have faith, we will need to keep praying and thanking God. Amen. Amen. 
That is so profound. That is clearly saying exactly what we're doing. I feel the Spirit of God already. Amen. And I thank you so much. Amen. Amen. And just to continue. And so the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed in, adhered to, trusted in, and relied on God. And this was accounted to him as righteousness, as conformity to God's will and thought and deed. And he was called God's friend. You see that a man is justified, pronounced righteous before God through what he does and not alone through faith, through works of obedience as well as by what he believes. So also with Rahab the harlot, was she not shown to be justified, pronounced righteous before God by good deeds when she took in the scout spies and sent them away by a different route? For as the human body apart from the spirit is lifeless, so faith apart from its works of obedience is also dead. Amen. I thank God so much for that analogy as well. Even we have the hallowed. So it doesn't matter who you are, where you are. Obedience. Obedience. Amen. It doesn't matter where you are in the work of life. Obedience to God's word. For coming to him with everything that you need. And the just shall live by faith. And the just is those ones who will actually put the works behind it. Amen. Amen. So we're putting that work, like Apostle Sandra said, and we're going to pray to God concerning our family, concerning Amen. our children. And we're going to first actually let's just thank God for Amen. the year. It's yes. been a long year, and the year has come to an end. And soon. Merry Christmas soon. to you. The year is coming to an end soon, sorry. But we want to be grateful to God. So the Bible says, enter into the courts with thanksgiving Amen. and with praise. And Father, we just thank you. We lift your name up high. We thank you, Father, for you are the King of kings. Yes, you are the Lord of lords. You have kept us, O oh God. Your mercies kept us, O oh God, all Father. throughout the year. Yes, your mercies, O oh God, has provided for us all yes. throughout the years. For great is your faithfulness, O oh God. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your glory. We thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on, just thank you for everything that He has done for you. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sea. He has never let us down. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for great is your faithfulness. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our father. Thank you for our parents, our mother, our brothers, and our sisters, our brothers, and still alive this morning. We thank you, Lord God, for our story, oh God. We thank you for your figure out name in the book of life. We thank you, Father. Lord God, for you continue to lift us up with your grace and your mercies, oh God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for you, oh God. Correct us in the way we go, and you know, kings and all of us. We know you made a way, we know you seem to be no way. Oh God, you know, you know, you know, the past months, oh God, you know, everything seems wrong. But oh God, you know, you're the school. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord God, for your results. We thank you, Lord God, for your health.
counselor for our families throughout the year. We thank you, Lord God, even in the middle of chaos, oh God, you brought order, you brought peace to the families, oh God. We thank you, Lord God. Even my children rebelled against their parents, oh God. And hearts were broken, oh God, but you, oh God, brought that peace, restoration to the families. They were totally happy, so God, with addiction, oh God, and the enemy made fun of us. But your faithfulness, oh God, your faithfulness brought us through into righteousness, oh God. So God, and God, I said, God, I can be by the grace and the mercy of you. Thank you, God, for our way for our God. Oh, thank you, Lord God, that you would be the enemy of the way that they have defeated us, oh God. But you, Lord God, by your mighty right hand, you have given us the kindness and grace, oh God. You have given us, oh God, in the deepest peace and brought us, oh God, back to the throne of grace. And we thank you, Lord God, for our way to our way to our way to our way. Thank you. 
We thank you, Lord God, for taking out the veil upon the eyes of those who are yet not, who have not yet believed in you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every veil of unbelief, we open out their eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. Just like the scales fall down from the eyes of the soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone who died for the religious break of all friends has yet to believe in the name of the Lord. We take away the scales from the eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, just as your body was broken for us, and the veil of the Holy of Holies was torn apart, so we may not know God everything that is possible for everyone. Yes, we are. 
Lord, we pray for Ford. We pray for everyone, oh God, working in the cabinet, everyone working in the government. Even Lord God, we pray for everyone. I remember this is all, Lord God. This is me. We guide and protect them, especially those, oh God, who are living you, oh God, who are called by your name and that's your protection power in the name of Jesus Christ. For we know, Jesus, that you are the way. that have also left comments with us on our um, YouTube page as well. We encourage you to pray, pray, pray without ceasing. 